Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today as you can see in front of me I have a giant gold pile and that is because today we are going to be doing much 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 piglin trading and if you'd seen last episode you know we managed to gather some diamonds and create our first diamond sword and set of armor with some even remaining we didn't have an axe or shovel or boots though, so that kind of stuff will come later. But today, our goal is to get books. And that is why we've set out all of this gold here. It is... Nine? Nine blocks of gold? Which may not sound like a lot, but is is quite the allotment. So we're going to take all of this gold and see how much leather we can get, because... As you know, with all um, enchanting tables, with wait, okay, how it goes is you get diamonds, you get obsidian, you make an enchantment table. Enchantment tables aren't as good as they can be without books and bookshelves. So we need to go find the leather because obviously we have plenty, plenty, plenty of sugar cane. But the one thing that we do not have plenty of is leather. And so that's what today's episode is going to be all about. Leather. Leather, leather, leather. So let's get right in there and see what we can do. We have plenty of gold. We have some gold armor. You know what? We should grab some more gold armor. We are going to need it. I guess I should make some boots then. Okay. So, let's do this. Um, we're going to... I don't know if we're going to time lapse it. We might just do it normal. Um, but we're going to see how much leather we can get by the end of this. If we just end this. Is there a wandering trader in here? Oh, yeah. He's right... Somewhere. He was just here. I don't know where he went. Maybe he went back through. Okay. Um, if there's one place I know to find piglins, it's a Bastion, no, Bastion Remnant. Luckily, we have one right next to our portal. So that's where we're going to be heading right now to start this. I, you know what? To start this trading time lapse. I think not doing it as a time lapse would be disappointing to say the least. So we will do it as a time lapse. So, um, for those of you who are new, welcome back. Uh, this is the eighth episode in the series, and um, next episode I'm planning on. Oh, watch out! Next episode I'm planning on maybe doing some base work. But that could obviously change as I discover new things to do. Um, we're almost there. Hopefully don't run into hoglins. Hoglins are... I hate to say it, but they are the worst. Even their children are super aggressive. But, just my luck, they love to hang out with each other. Hey, you stay away. I don't want to hurt you. Right, you stay over there. Okay, I do have a respawn anchor here, which I will be using in case we die. Did that just anger them? No, we're good. Okay. Alright, let's get started. We're going to trade with these two. And let's activate the time lapse mode in 3, 2, 1.
Okay, welcome back after that quick time lapse. As you saw there, we did very well getting netting 30 leather from just that little bit of trading. And um, towards the end there, you maybe maybe have saw that the um, piglins started to raise their weapons and run off after some random thing way off in the distance. That was actually them beginning a hunt on a hoglin. And I don't know what the the relationship between piglins and hoglins is so confusing because on one hand they will go and hunt the hoglins and on the other hand they will just peacefully stay next to them and not do anything and it just it's just like why all of the sudden would they then be mad at a hoglin maybe that's something i'll have to look up because that's really interesting how they are only sometimes really mad at hoglins and other times not. Okay, so we're going to head back home and make some more books. This can make 30 books, which is a lot. We're actually going to throw on these little speed twos so that we can zoom across this because I am tired of walking it. And I learned from a Hermitcraft video that when you use the soul speed enchantment when you run on the soul sand super fast it actually takes durability off the boots which is interesting because normal walking i don't think takes that much durability or any durability off your boots and i think it's neat that now if you put this enchantment on it's not just instant speed there is some drawbacks to it okay so we're gonna craft up some Books, and then hopefully some bookshelves if we can swing it. All right, let's throw this stuff in here. We actually got a lot of Ender Pearls, which is very good considering that the um, the Ender Pearls are going to be very useful as we progress later into the game. We ended up using a lot of gold actually to get these books that we've got here, but I would say it's all well worth it now that we're going to have many many more bookshelves to use okay all right let's go get some wood stop it and then we can start on making some bookshelves Okay, so now we're going to go through the whole process of making bookshelves. It's actually, it's they're not a bad recipe. The, the hardest part about it really is getting all of the books. Because you can, you can never really get as many as you'd like to. There's just something about, but oh wow, okay. That actually got us way past what we need. So I'm going to show you our little enchanting room here. It's down here. You drop in here. Boom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be tough. Right, let's do that. So three. Tw no. Nine. 11, 12, 13, 14, I don't know, 15, 16, and then fix up our water stream, let's see, can we get level 30s, we can, okay, that's not the greatest setup, but we'll make it look nice in the future. But just to finish up with this, we need to add some dirt there. And let's make that too high. So our new secret enchanting room is right under um, the memorial to Dia. Oh, hello. And this is how we get out. Right in here, we just break those two dirt blocks, hop up here, and close it off. So. That's a little annoying for enchanting, and in the future I might find a better, maybe possibly redstone solution to this problem. But for the time being, it works. 
Okay, so you know what we are going to do? We are going to go for some enchanting. I'm going to take all of this beautiful, beautiful armor, and we are going to enchant it. I guess we can enchant our sword if we have the levels. Okay. We're just going to do some basic enchantments. I can't do level 30s. I don't have a uh, lapis. I don't have level 30 yet, like the actual level for it. But once I do, you can you can bet that I'll be making some level 30 armor. Right. Let's grab our lapis from this. We have plenty. So it's not like we're out or anything. Okay. I should tame you, shouldn't I? Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, I'll take protection one. Enchanter. Thorns. Okay. Okay. What can we get here? Ooh, sharpness two. And efficiency two. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? We got a few more few more levels here. Let's see what we can get on a book. Okay, I'll take that. And, nope, I do not want that. Knock back one, that wouldn't be too bad. I guess we can dig it. But, we can only have one kind of protection per armor piece, and I don't know if I want projectile protection to be the one I choose for my chest plate, because the other two already have protection on it. So there's none of I can do other than enchant boots, but if I'm going to do gold boots, they don't last very long, so I don't feel like wasting that, but we'll find something. Okay, nice. So now we've got some neat looking armor, and fire aspect, okay, so I guess we can make an anvil, we definitely have the iron for it. Iron is something that is going to be very useful in this series, and what I'm eventually planning on doing is building an iron farm. Uh, obviously, I can't do that right now. I don't think I have the resources, but at some point in time, we will be doing that. Get sharpness, and boom. Nice. Okay. Well, we're going to toss these back in this chest here. That's great. Ooh. Let's do our bow. You know, just while we're here with the levels. Stop it. This is a serious problem. I happen to place my staircase to the mega, mega mining megasode mine right next to the lava pit where I discard my old items. And now, every once in a while, my stuff will catch on fire. And there, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. I just have to... Yes! We got a double enchant. That's really nice. Power one, unbreaking one. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Um, another idea I just had for next episode is we could possibly start finding villages because trading with villagers, especially Fletchers, where they can give us um, arrows, is going to be really helpful. Okay, nice. Fully, well, not fully, but close to fully enchanted gear some enchanted tools we're not looking too bad here I just saw that my ender pearls were in here so I'll go ahead and stack these up okay well hello everyone and welcome back to the same episode um, so the first part of this episode was actually filmed really late last night, and it got to the point in the night where I just, I, I wasn't doing my, but my best possible, um, my best possible commentary, and things weren't turning out how I wanted them to, so I decided that it would just be best to give up on that and try to salvage it by recording the next part the next morning which is what I'm doing now 
so today we are actually going to be making our first ever portal to the location of Castle Blackstone. Well, yeah, I guess today works because I mean it's not it's not really today, but it is today for me. It's the same episode for you. It's t it's a different day. So in this part of the episode, let's say we will be building our first portal to Castle Blackstone, and so, what I want to do is, I have an image that I need to pull up on my computer. It's a screenshot from Minecraft of the coordinates of the mountain for Castle Blackstone. I just need to pull those up in a minute so that I can, um, so that I can have them and know where to build these this portal. Another thing I want to do soon is find a saddle and tame myself a strider because I really want to be able to, to run across the lava but I can't do that without a strider oh hello oh that's right I'm not wearing gold armor Whoops. so as you can see I have right now in my inventory an enchanted diamond pickaxe it's wearing my boots and that is because in the previous segment we did some work on, it, on en our enchanting table as you would have seen I don't know why I'm repeating this you already would have seen that <sighs> we're almost to the ruin I'm gonna go to the ruin portal that we have over here and take some of its obsidian to make another portal that will hopefully link up to one next to the, the um, Mount Blackstone Let's go over here. Close. We need a better food source. It takes so long to eat these. Although they are incredibly renewable, which is very nice. And there we go. Okay. Here we are. Ooh, you know what? I'll grab that. Ah, there's two. Oh, let me do a sick parkour. There we go. We should take this down someday, you know, make it look all nice. I mean, I don't know if taking it down will make it look better or worse, but I'm going to take some of it down. I don't know if turning it back into a normal portal will improve or make it look worse. I don't know. Hold on. Let's tower up here. So we can grab our obsidian bits. So, like I was saying in the first part of this episode, I tried to record the whole thing last night because I wanted to get it out for you all. I wanted to get the whole episode out before. I wanted to get it out in the day, but I was busy earlier when I would usually be recording from, like, I don't know, like, two to four is around the time when I would usually have set out time for doing YouTube but I was busy during those times and then was just doing other things for almost the rest of the day so I ended up not getting it to it but I'm getting to it now so that's all that counts I'm glad we're finally taking this portal down because I, when I came here originally, I had wanted to repair it, but I didn't think that was going to be possible at the time. I'm glad now we're at least doing something with it that's not leaving it sit here to look bad in the open. And obviously we're going to be using up this blackstone because any and all blackstone that I can harvest is good for me gonna take a minute to get all that but we'll get it we need one I think one more piece of obsidian and then we can go build our portal I shouldn't be mining with that anymore all right we're gonna take some of this blackstone with us all 
Uh, I'm gonna leave that stuff here because it's part of the portal that we have. Right, that's all I'm gonna grab for now. Um, okay, I just quickly took a look at the coordinates and found the x value of our portal in the nether. Um, if you didn't know, if, you, if you're trying to link something up to the overworld, the way to do it is to get... Is to get... Hold on. Let me get where I'm going. Is to, is to divide the coordinates in the overworld by 8. Okay, so this is the x value of our portal. Now let's get to... We're gonna need... 200... 2,434 divided by 8. Oh, what was that? Get out of here. Um, which is 304. Okay. Alright, thanks. Let's eat something before we dive. So, the, the Z coordinate for us is going to be negative 304 in the nether. Let's see, is it this? No, it's this way. Okay. So, we're going to go about 100 blocks this way. Oh, come on. Leave me alone. Alright, it it's going to be over there. Now that serves you right. Okay, we're getting close right here. Right here, right here. Alright, this is the place for our castle blackstone portal then. Let me get these coordinates off my screen. Okay. Ah. That's great. Okay, now let's see where this takes us. If it takes us to the right place, I will be extremely happy. Oh, this is looking good so far. I'm, I'm really liking this because Blackstone... Yes! Yes! That's perfect! That is exactly what we needed. Well, uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Sorry for the kind of messed up episode with the one half being recorded earlier in the, or the yesterday and the other half being recorded today. Um, hopefully this doesn't happen too often, but thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.